Today I've been joined by this potted GoPro. In this video, what we're going to do is build a DIY GoPro spike mount. So a spike mount is just that. It's a mount for your GoPro that's a spike and you can jam this into the ground, into the snow, and it gives you this low angle tripod. You don't need a tripod, you just need this spike. You just jam it in and you're set up to shoot a low angle shot of whatever you want. It gives you a stable shot. If there's high wind or vibration, it's not gonna go anywhere. So it's a really cool, versatile mount and it's super easy to make one. The tools we're gonna need for this are a hacksaw. If you're lazy like me, you can use a Dremel with a cutoff wheel, but you definitely don't need that. And a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, along with a file. In terms of hardware for this project, we're gonna be using a quarter by 20 inch threaded rod. Now, it doesn't really matter how long your threaded rod is. We only need about an inch, an inch and a half of it. So if you wanna just get a two inch fully threaded bolt and then just cut that inch and a half out of there, you can do that as well. Then we're gonna need a nut, a quarter by 20 inch nut, and you're gonna need a GoPro tripod mount. The last piece of this project is the spike. It's key, and if you don't know where to look, it can be a little bit tricky to find. So if you go to the camping section of most outdoor store, you'll find big yellow spikes. And I think they can normally come in four packs. So you get lots of them to use for these projects if you wanna go that route. Mine is actually from an outdoor lighting department of a hardware store. They sold spikes for holding in those little ground lights. That was, that's what this one is from. But like I say, a camping spike or a lighting spike, those work just fine. The first step of this project is to cut about an inch, inch and a half long piece of threaded rod. So we're just gonna do that either with a hacksaw or a Dremel. With that cut, it's time to drill a hole into the top of our spike. We're gonna do this using that quarter by 20 inch drill bit. We're gonna wanna make it deep enough that we can fit our piece of threaded rod into that hole, leaving only about a quarter of an inch sticking out. This will ensure that the tripod mount bottoms out on the top of the spike and not the head of the bolt. Once that's done, you'll notice that the bolt goes in and out of the hole quite easily, and this isn't really gonna work to hold in a GoPro mount. If you wanted to stop here and go the easy route, you could coat the outside of the bolt in hot glue, which would stick to the four sides of the plastic spike, giving you a fairly secure mount. I'm taking mine one step further and actually gonna hold it in using a nut. So now we're gonna drill a, another hole into the spike, this time sideways, so we, we cross through the hole we drilled down, at a perpendicular angle. Then we're gonna get our file out and start filing that hole wider so that our nut will fit inside it. We're gonna continue doing this, test fitting our nut until it fits perfectly. It should pop in with a little bit of force and then it should sit right under in the middle of that hole. Now we can take our bolt and thread it through that nut and into the hole. This gives us a super secure mount and there's no way that the, uh, the bolt and the tripod mount is going to come out of it because any upwards force holds this right in. It's the same concept that Ikea uses to build furniture. Now we're just going to take our tripod mount, screw it onto the top of the mount and we're all done. We can slap our camera in there and we've got ourselves a GoPro spike mount. I'm super pumped on this DIY project because if you spray painted the nut and the bolt black, you would never know that this wasn't an off the shelf product. If you've got comments or suggestions on how to improve this DIY project or ideas for future projects, leave those down in the comments below. If you guys like DIY projects, give this video a thumbs up and I will continue to make more of them. Guys, thank you very much for watching and until next time.